Welcome, welcome. Today in the Cheapo Spotlight, successor to the ET14S, the Tooltop ET15S multimeter slash thermal camera. Oh, yeah. Let me keep on testing. Shout out to Tooltop. Thanks so much for sending the multimeter in for this review. Awesome. What do you get in the box? Well, of course you get the box. I'll go through that a little more when I compare this to the 14S in just a minute. But uh, get the meter, of course, slash a thermal camera. You get a gorgeous, and I'm saying absolutely gorgeous, carry case. This is one of those solid shell, clamshell style cases. Really nice. Now, we don't get that tool top logo. That's too bad, but still a really nice case, zippered. And we have both the user manual as well as some test probes and of course we have our USB-C charging cable because yes this is a char chargeable meter uh, no standalone batteries built-in lithium way to go tooltop and down there below if you can see that now you can see it look at that that is a fuse that is a little tiny SMD style fuse comes with the entire package so if perchance you burn out the fuse they give you another one to replace it with hey Excellent. Test probes, pretty well your standard fare, rated at 1000 volts, Cat 3, 10 amp. Good looking on the bigger side, which is nice. And if we take a look at those tips, not gold plated or anything. They are pointy, you know, good size tip, gonna feel good in the hand all around. Yeah, decent test leads. Finally, you get your operator's manual, thermal imaging multimeter, quick start manual. You're definitely gonna wanna read this because there is a lot to this meter in terms of functionality. Hey, it's both a meter as well as a thermal camera. Lots of lowdown here. Great colored pictures, the whole nine yards. Specs, specifications how to, uh, the features as well as the camera functionality, all here in the user manual. Nice, nice job. Of course you get your ET15S. What a great looking multimeter slash IR camera. I'm telling you, this thing is solid, solid. Has that nice rubberized, texturized boot on the edges. Feels really nice. Got a bit of heft to it as well. I got to say, probably a tad heavier than the 14. Definitely heavier than the 14. And as well, if we take a look at the back, we actually have a tilt stand. Like so. And look at that. Little notches on there. Tilt stand. Beauty. Nothing like a tilt stand. Turn the meter on, just simply hold down on the power button on the left hand side. Comes up with a boot prompt. Hear that little taboom and bada boom bada bing. There's our loading screen. All in all, you're probably looking around 15 seconds or so from the time you press the power on to the actual visual display. And we are defaulting into thermal imaging mode. All right, let's compare this quickly to the 14S and just see how they differ. ET15S on the right, ET14S on the left. Uh, right away, the box give away something really important. 2.8 inch display for the 14 versus the 3.5. Obviously a larger display on the ET15S. And here we are side by side. You can see the obviously slightly larger display again on the 15S. Look at the logistics, though, of the menu buttons and everything else. Pretty well one and the same. Font, obviously different on the 15 as opposed to the 14S. Nice and green as opposed to that black and white, which I actually prefer. I'm not as cartoonish. But anyway, hey, your mileage is going to vary. Whatever you like. There you go in a nutshell. As well, if we put them literally side by side. There you go. 
both units pretty well identical on the back 15s on the right 14s on the left here's that macro lens same sliding attachment for both units they also share that same nice tripod mount on the bottoms of the unit that comes in super handy side by side here take a look at that if you're fault finding slightly bigger display well in a nutshell very similar on the outside uh, you do have that bigger display that 3.5 inch as opposed to the 2.8 and slightly better visuals at least for me on the 15s When you boot up the ET15S from Tooltop, it defaults to, you guessed it, thermal camera mode. Now to switch that, we just hit that IR DMM button, but a boom bada being absolutely no lag, you are instantly in digital multimeter mode. And speaking of which, here we are, look at that output 5.000 is what we want on this 20,000 count multimeter. That's right, 20,000 big ones on the ET15S. 5.001, whoa very very close speaking of dc volts let's stay in there for a little bit look at that gorgeous 20,000 count display over the reverse cbtn screen to die for and that graphing at the same time wowzy right now i've got to hook up to that matrix dc power supply oh this one is a beauty i'm gonna have a full review of that soon can't wait for that okay 4.998 volts sitting at 5.00 according to the matrix power supply now let's take a little look at that bar graph at the top. Let's just bring it down here a little bit. Alrighty, bar graph time. Here we go. I'm sort of fluctuating right now between five volts and 20 volts. And it's a nice looking bar graph. We have that needle, that red needle, which makes it really easy to see. And it is quite responsive as well. It is a pretty decent bar graph. You're going to sit at 2.00 volts and there we go also on the meter we have that really cool graphing capability so you can see fluctuations in voltage over the long term look at that graph look at that as voltages go up and volts go down so does that graph at the bottom just zoom in in there a little bit and man oh man talk about talk about useful that is super useful not only that we have the uh, mechanism over here telling us what our maximum and our minimum voltage is at the same time as well as that visual and the graphing incredible i mean that is a lot of info uh this meter is giving you at first glance let's keep looking at it in dc volts here sitting at 26 volts right now and we're going to bring that up 30 volts and right away, you see we have that high voltage designation, that little thunderbolt coming up on the bottom left of the screen. Up to 51 volts right now. And maxed out at 64 volts. And check it out, 63.89 coming up on the tool top. Awesome. Okay, now we've got the thermal meter. Thermal meter? Thermal camera slash multimeter. I'm looking at a uh, DC power supply that's been acting a little funky lately, a little funky. So I wasn't sure maybe if the uh, caps were starting to go bad, what have you. Now, the cool thing with this meter is the fact you've got so many different uh, settings for that display, as well as the macro. You've got that macro capability, and you can see that makes a really big difference. Everything is so clear. You can look at those components and really make out what it is you're looking. Now, if you're trying to troubleshoot PCBs on a thermal camera that does not have macro support, it is really hard. I mean, you're getting, you know, you can still see that thermal mass, so to speak, but it is a lot harder than using a thermal camera that's actually got that macro close-up uh, built into it. Just makes life a whole 
lot easier. Just look at how clean it looks. You really know what you're looking at. And I can tell right off the get-go here that those capacitors are just fine. Uh, nothing is leaking, nothing's gone bad. Um, they are looking good. So with the help of a thermal cam, you can really troubleshoot a situation uh, rather easily and, and you know, just keep troubleshooting but uh, without spending too much time on any one part and as well look at that you've got that built-in multimeter mode while you're in thermal camera mode so you can go ahead and actually check voltages if you want uh, what have you while you're in thermal camera mode very very nice once again here we are with the different color schemes zoom back a little bit there and look at the different color schemes whatever works for your mojo we're all a little bit different but uh, hey it's really nice to have that multi display functionality and you got a lot of modes here with the ET15S my favorite though is look at that look at that I'm telling you. I mean, you can play this game all day long. That's my favorite mode right there. Just makes everything uh, nice. The the hot stands out from the cold spots on the meter. Uh, makes it really easy to diagnose a bad PCB really quickly. So that's my favorite thermal mode. Now, if you take it off that macro again, look at that. Look how fuzzy it is. That's just with a basic thermal camera without the macro. Put it back into macro mode and bada boom, bada bing. Wow, clarity, man loving it look at that so here we are again with that dc power supply and just giving you one more quick look see very easy to pan this meter is so small that you can get in nice and close without any sort of problems you know some of those bigger handheld thermal cameras might be problematic when you're you're sticking them in tiny places but uh, here with this small meter it's really a breeze and man, that clarity, I gotta say, tooltop, you really hit the nail on the head with this one. Very, very handy. Man, this one is on my bench permanently. I've used it a few times already, and I gotta say, it does one heck of a job. Okay, here we go, taking a look at the inside now. Gorgeous internals of ET15S. Oh, so clean. Look at that fab black PCB, loving it. There we are, the back side of the meter, no shielding. Uh, we have one nicely retained 18650 battery in that single battery housing, nice and neat. And of course, if you need to replace this battery down the line, you can. Those are the contacts that make contact with the PCB. And uh, let's just take a closer look at that battery housing. You can open that up with your thumbnail even. Easy breezy, comes out 18650 there in all of its glory. And uh, let's just take a, a little bit closer look at that battery, shall we? Yeah, nice 18650 there, 2000 milliamp power, 3.7 volts. And once again, needs to be replaced, not a big deal, no desoldering, what have you, uh, easy breezy. So a lot of uh, room for some expandability down the road. All right, now let's get to the bread and butter. Oh, good looking internals once again. Love how clean this is. Man, this is one good looking multimeter PCB. All right, where do we start? There's so many things. I mean, right off the get-go, we're starting at the W25Q32JV. Who that's a mouthful. 32-bit serial flash memory with 4KB sectors. Dual quad SPI. All there. Nice new chip. And check out that little SMD fuse. Yeah, that's the replacement they give you. That's where it goes. Comes out easy. Just use a pair of tw uh, tweezers. And look at that. Boom. Easy breezy. Replace it like so and it goes back in like so so there you go a nice replaceable smd fuse uh very nicely done i don't know about you guys but i am a sucker for a black pcb oh man it looks gorgeous there's our axicom standard signal relay uh two form general purpose all around dc polarized uh some of this stuff is etched out hard to get info on it the main uh multimeter i see here is that uh, at32 f42 k827 uh, that's a arm cortex 32-bit processor 96 megahertz uh yeah very nice 20 kb of sram on board and not only that check this out you've got that sd card so you can theoretically stick in another sd card whenever you want once again there's that arm processor all in all just really nicely done
Ellerzar USB-C charging port as well to the side. They put a lot of components on a really, you know, fairly small PCB. This is not a big multimeter by any means. And of course, there's that 256 by 192 high resolution sensor. Gives us all that detailed thermal imaging, 25 hertz refresh rate. Mmm, beauty. And once again, there are, are the, well, that's the only PTC. All in all, great, great build quality here. Industrial grade thermal camera integrated with that high precision multimeter. What is not to like? All right, let's put everything back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Tool Top ET15S thermal camera slash multimeter. Oh yes, this one I can highly recommend. Good job. Oh man, that 256 by 192 high resolution thermal camera looks amazing. That I'm telling, this is one of the best looking cameras I've seen in a long time. That macro lens makes a huge difference when it comes to close up inspections of PCBs. Hey, you want to do smartphone repairs, you need macro. That's it, that's all. And that beautiful 3.5 inch IPS screen with a resolution of 320 by 480, 15 different color palettes. Oh brother, the sky is the limit. Hey, this is an industrial grade thermal camera, which has a lot of smart wave form capability. Yes, you can actually look at those voltage waveforms and get on the fly real time visual data logging. You don't see that every day, do you? And how cool is it that you could be in thermal imaging mode and still have that multimeter capability at the same time? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Whether you're at home, DIY kind of a guy, or you're doing HVAC work on the side, maybe you're a pro, who knows? Definitely, you're gonna want to have this meter with you. Honestly, I haven't got too many bad things to say about this meter because it's just that good. Two Top even gives you that great carry case, which I think is the cat's meow. Great looking case, too bad it didn't have that Tool Top logo. Yes, now the one weak point of this meter is the fact it has that limited input protection. You really don't wanna put this on ultra high mains, but for household work, you know what? You'll be just fine. Altogether, this is one really complete package. I think one of the best multimeter slash thermal cameras that's out there at any price. The Tool Top ET15S gets a solid 4.5 out of five stars. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.